Aceh province, known for its natural beauty, is currently facing a serious trash crisis. The cleanliness of the environment, which has been well maintained in the past, is now threatened by increasing piles of trash. Residents in various cities in Aceh province are complaining about the uncontrollable rise in the amount of trash. This issue not only affects the aesthetics of the cities but also poses a threat to public health. Unmanaged piles of trash become breeding grounds for diseases and cause air pollution, negatively impacting the quality of life for the local population. Not only from daily activities, waste is also generated from industrial products, a small but dangerous example is the tofu industry. In the province of Aceh, Indonesia, the thriving tofu industry has encountered a significant waste management challenge, as the disposal of tofu waste has become a pressing environmental concern. With the increasing demand for tofu products, the province has witnessed a surge in tofu production, leading to a proportional rise in the generation of tofu waste. Aceh province has an average of 164 tofu industries, ranging from household scale with less than 10 workers to large scale with more than 100 workers. The tofu industry in Aceh province spends an average of around 3.9800 thousand tons of soybeans each year which are used to make tofu. With this amount, the tofu industry can produce an average of 28.9 thousand cubic meters slash year of liquid waste and around 2000 tons of solid waste. One of the key issues associated with tofu waste is its improper disposal. The vast quantity of tofu waste generated daily poses a threat to water bodies, primarily rivers and streams, as it contains high organic content. Improper disposal can lead to water pollution, harming aquatic life and ecosystems in the surrounding areas. Additionally, the accumulation of tofu waste can emit foul odors, impacting air quality and posing health hazards to nearby communities due to higher level of COD and BOD level. And here we are, from the Sayakwala University team, comes to answering the environmental issues of tofu industrial waste converted to be integrated product that has more valuable content and enhance economic growth for society 5.0. This idea is also linear with Aceh province commitment to realizing the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, as a development agenda for safety and a decent life for the people. Several SDGs are currently being carried out massively, such as SDGs.3 on a healthy and prosperous life, Point six on clean water and proper sanitation, point seven on clean and affordable energy, point nine on industry, innovation, and infrastructure, point fifteen on the land ecosystem, and point seventeen about partnerships. The integration process in this idea will take advantage of all the potential that exists in solid and liquid waste from the tofu industry by turning it into green energy, such as bioethanol and biogas as cheap fuel for the needs of the tofu industry or the energy market. The steps in analyzing a number of data in writing this environmental technologies idea are start with observation data for two months in four cities in Aceh, reducing data, present data, and draw conclusions. Data reduction is done by sharpening, selecting, focusing, and organizing data. After the data is reduced, then a process simulation and modeling is carried out using software like ASP and HISIS V.11 and Schlumberger asymmetry to design the operating system and estimate the product that can be produced. Here are the outlook of integrated innovating processes to convert tofu waste into several products, especially to obtain renewable energy as a solution to this problem. Because renewable energy is very needed to support energy needs in this 5.0 era. With the basis of one ton soybean product, the liquid and solid tofu waste is produced. From that raw sources, we can make it into several product that has a connection into another. We can look at biomethane production. Solid tofu waste is known to still contain carbohydrates which have reduced water content by around 30 to 40 percent. This content makes solid tofu waste potential because there is still cellulose which is a part of carbohydrates. In general, the processing of cellulose into bioethanol is carried out through the process of purifying cellulose, hydrolysis of cellulose, and fermentation using the microorganism Saccharomyces cerevisiae to produce bioethanol with anaerobic digester. Secondly, biogas processing using anaerobic digester still leaves a solid residue that is rich in complex organic compounds. These complex organic compounds have the potential to be used as MCFA products, where the monocarboxylic acids containing 6 to 12 carbon atoms are named caproic and caprylic acids. This processing is carried out in parallel with the anaerobic digester process which does not fully convert the solid residue to biogas. Therefore, the residue from MCFA processing can be packaged into organic fertilizer. 
To enhanced efficiently technology processing, here we design separate rooms in one building with the aim of maximizing the production process of each product we purpose to get or produce, where overall there are six spaces that have a focus on the production of their respective products. And this is the layout of the factory area with a total building area of 535 square meters. To make this idea as realistic and feasible, we already conduct an analysis of sustainability idea that already divided into three main parts, which starts from Pre-implementation stage in, 2023. In this year we have an agenda of determining the location of the processing plant. Then, we concentrate on obtaining funding sources from the potential investors from government to support the development of this integrated technology for processing tofu waste. Potential investors that can reach this project include government entities, such as the city government of Banda Aceh, the Indonesian Ministry of Cooperatives and SMES, and the Indonesian Ministry of Industry, and also for private parties it will help from the form of CSR program funds funding can be used from the prospective technology-based startup program from Higher Education, CPPBTPT, RISPRO LPDP Ministry of Finance, as well as the DRPM Community Service Program and for the socialization provided understanding and awareness to tofu industry players to actively participate in the proposed activity program. For the next step of implementation in 2024 to 2025, we plan to build a pilot projects, scale up plans, technology development, and finally training and coaching activity for tofu industry players in Aceh province regarding integrated tofu waste processing. And for the final step, post-implementation, 2026, we conduct evaluation, monitoring, and assistance to tofu entrepreneurs in Aceh province so that they can be independent, increase partner productivity, and reduce the environmental impact resulting from the rest of the tofu industry. The evaluation was carried out by a joint team from the Banda Aceh Cooperative and MSME Office, the USK Chemical Engineering Department, the Banda Aceh City Government, and the tofu industry in Banda Aceh City. Thank you for watching. Green Energy. Green future, happier life.